scenario, what we're going to do today is show you how we can use RPA and IPaaS using the Jitterbit platform to provide a combined complete business automation process. So in this scenario, we are receiving vendor invoices via PDF via email inbox. When we receive invoices typically in this form, a human is responsible for taking those invoices and then processing them into the ERP for approval. However, in this scenario, we're going to take advantage of UiPath and the RPA technology to automatically pull that exchange inbox and perform OCR on the attached PDFs to get the required information for the vendor bill, at which stage we'll process that directly into NetSuite. For this scenario, the invoices or the bills will require manual approval. However, you could automate the approval to combine a fully automated process. On approval, this is where Jitterbit will take over. So Jitterbit using its Cloud Studio and its API management will provide that capability for a real-time event-driven integration. So in this scenario, we'll take that information and we will automatically trigger an integration into our CRM system. So we have those vendor bills visible against the account record itself. So what I can do, if I go directly to my RPA, we can see this in action. So I'm entering an email address. I'm entering my invoice. So I'm, I'm essentially acting as the vendor, creating my email, and I'm attaching my invoice ready for payment. Once I've added the invoice, click send. The RPA will automatically trigger. If I go to the RPA screen, we can see the robots already in action. It's polled, it's found a invoice, and now it's going into the inbox to find that. So what will happen now? It will automatically extract the PDF from the email and then take use its OCR technology to scan the invoice itself to get the required information. You can see the invoice is open here now. So the RPA is now going through this invoice and it's taking key information. So it's looking for the vendor, it's looking for the payment due date, the payment information, the account number, and the account and the vendor requested amount. It's now storing this information for use for the data processing within NetSuite. So once this is complete, it will also delete the email from the inbox. So now we can see the robots going into NetSuite. The robot's logged in and the, the robot will automatically act like a human and go directly to the pay bill screen. Once in the pay bill screen, it will use the information it's written from the OCR to populate the bill. So the vendor information, the payment date, the currency, the amount, etc., is all being populated automatically by the robot. In this scenario, once the robot's completed, it will save the bill and then it will begin to shut down its operations. Once the bill's been saved, what will then happen is that we'll go into the Jitterbit platform and the integration will begin. So if we scroll to the Jitterbit platform, what we see here is our great Cloud Studio. We've also used our API manager here to create an API to link directly into the NetSuite application. So in this scenario, what will happen is as soon as we approve the bill, an API call will be made from NetSuite into Jitterbit. It will receive the bill ID. So we can see we have the API request and that request will store the bill ID. We will take that bill ID and then push that directly into our dedicated NetSuite connector to search for more information. We'll search for all the information related to the vendor and that bill specifically. Again, we will store that information as part of the integration workflow and then we will use it as part of the final step here, which is to transform that data into a required format for Salesforce. Once we've done that, the information will be available and visible within the Salesforce platform. But finally, we're also logging the information so we can see everything within our web management console. So let's take a look at the applications. So if I scroll over into NetSuite, if I go take a look at our bill, we should have one ready to approve. So if I go into my approved bill screen, you can see we have a single bill here, the one that was added by our RPA platform. What we can also do is take a look at Salesforce and we can see we've got the vendor populated already. So if I go into that vendor, we can confirm that we don't have any account bills currently against this vendor. 
So let's see what happens if we approve the bill. So if I go into the bill, select the bill I want to approve, it will automatically trigger the integration through our API manager and our Cloud Studio. Once the bill's been approved, the process has begun. The bill should already be in Salesforce by now. So if we go back into Salesforce, we should be able to see that bill. So let's go into the vendor. So we can see now that the bill's been populated. So we have the bill directly from NetSuite and we also have the same information also populated from our RPA. So this is a very quick demo on how you can use RPA in conjunction with Jitterbit to provide full business automation for your integrations. Thank you.